So hi guys, as you can see here, lovely sunset going on, um, but obviously challenging conditions because you're shooting straight into really bright light, which gives you a really hard, difficult decision on what settings to have for your camera. So try and balance an image, you know, either an overexposed sky still or silhouetted uh, ground, you know, areas. Um, this shot here basically just is a bit of use of the sunset color and the shadows caused by the angle of the sun which gave me a really cool shot of a boot print in the sand so um, utilizing the Sigma 100 of 400 really really good lens by the way I'm shooting on the a7r4 in crop mode so this is 26 megapixels but also cropped in a little bit more so that's hence why you can see a little bit of noise and grain in the sky there but at the same time the light was going very very quickly so utilizing a sort of higher ISO um, up to 1600 even 3200 later on um, is sort of um, not really pushing the boundaries of the camera but without any noise reduction added you can end up with a little bit of grain. Um, it was also very windy quite a bit of spray in the air and uh, also end up with a bit of dirt on the sensor which is a bit annoying so I've cleaned that now. Um, as you can see here sharp shots not a problem at all birds in flight not a problem at all um, shot at ISO 1600 and 1000th of a second f6.3 this shot but the sunlight was going. I mean, I'm talking really, really low. Um, but just about to go behind a big hill. Um, managed to get a couple of wave shots, which is kind of cool with the colour of the sun uh, set sort of happening, which is kind of cool. Um, that was still shot at ISO 400 and 1200 through a second. Um, a little bit more light at the time. Um, and then we had these uh, birds here sort of looking for food, shells and things and shellfish or whatever. Um, but this is starting to push... Um, lack of light, so that was ISO, ISO sorry, um, 1600. This shot here was actually a lower ISO, so ISO 1000, but still pushing a thousandth of a second shutter speed. And obviously, the sun had now disappeared behind the um, the hill there, so lack of light um, completely. So that's why it's a very dark image, but I quite like it because you can still see the seagull relatively clearly. It's just dark, um, so it's a lot of a lot of problems with not such fast lenses so obviously using the RX10 Mark IV you've got 600 millimeters to play with but an f4 lens so I can let a lot let a lot more light in um, in conditions like this I can actually have a higher shutter speed and lower ISO um, which actually makes it very usable when you have lenses like this where it's an f6.3 for example it does start to struggle in lighting conditions like so um, so you know not perfect but still usable this is what I was out just testing it and having a bit of fun um, uh, Kestrel I believe hovering um, looking for dinner and uh, the sun had now gone behind the hill so lack of light um, on the subject and shooting at ISO 2000 I think I was or thereabouts anyway um, best shot I got of that one there um, shooting at him so it was a little bit of light in the sky but not really um, and then you turn into the sun where it was and you actually had the lovely orange so I could actually reduce the ISO down quite a bit speed the shutter speed up a little bit more and get him hovering but he just banked left as I took the shot which is a shame but uh, still not a bad photo in all gives you an idea the Coast Guard helicopter obviously flying higher than I was stood so another hundred feet or so um, so he's still a little bit of sunlight glinting off the side of the uh, chopper there so that worked quite nicely uh, down to one two hundred and fiftieth of a second to get a little bit of motion blur there and as he moved a little bit further along you can see there the sunlight's now almost gone off the side of the helicopter um, but still slightly faster shutter speed as well at 1 3 20th of a second um, but uh, yeah so it worked quite nicely but as you can see here um, not much light really I mean I've dropped this right down to I think at 1 50th of a second um, for video and as he got a bit closer and he was there um, and this shot here I quite like um, it's video obviously but just the way that the tide was actually pulling out and the colors reflecting in the sand from the uh, the view, very beautiful um, sort of orange and yellows we were having in the sky at the time, and then the um, the uh, environment agency uh, trucks here bringing back um, their empty trucks. What they do is they basically move the stones from one end of the beach to the other, and let the sand uh, let the sea move it back along again, and then they re return it. So basically protecting the coastline um, by doing so. Anyway, guys, I um, hope that was a <clears throat> a little bit. It's a very short video, um, but uh, hopefully. Uh, it, it was interesting um, and so don't forget to click the subscribe button and a little notification bell I've got a couple more videos coming I've got the shots for so look out for those and uh, I shall see you soon